Hi there, Halu here. Monday, March 4th, 2024 was a work from home day. Started it with a bun me as per usual, then got started with work. For dinner, we had some hot pot to ease into the cold night. Good morning, it is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. I am on my way to work. I'm feeling good this morning. It's a new week. I'm getting started again. I woke up at five and it was freezing cold. I didn't want to get out of bed, but I was like, you know what? Let me just take a quick shower. Let me warm my body up. Finishing most of the course now in terms of the modeling process, hoping to just focus, just put in all that focus that I've been talking about, put in all the drive that I've been wanting to, and just recycling the bad and negative energy I've been feeling last week and just turning it into something new and just trying to make the best out of it. If you notice, this video quality is a little bit different and that's because I am using my Pixel 3 at this moment. My flip broke, same reason how my flip 4 broke, which was just like the screen discoloring, started flickering. I know the screens are very, very fragile, but damn, I didn't even have a whole year before it started breaking. So, gonna go to Samsung after work uh, drop off my phone, um, I assume it's gonna be the process like I did last time. And um, hopefully they re replace it and I'll probably go back again the next day and then go get it. Um, but yep, as for now, just headed to work, feeling good, feeling awake, feeling energized. Let's get my day started. After work, I had to go to the Samsung store to get my phone repaired. My coworker had given me a chicken sandwich he didn't finish, so I ended up mauling it on my way to Glendale. A good morning to you all. It is Wednesday, March 6, 2024. I just finished with the time and it was a pretty good session. I did chess today. Just did whatever chess workouts uh, and machines that I was familiar with. And afterwards, I sat in the sauna for about 15 minutes just practicing daily affirmations because my girlfriend said maybe I need to practice my daily affirmations. And it was true. I sat there and I just thought about all the things that I was thankful for. I thanked the strangers that I've encountered in my past life. Um, not like I was dead, but like things I've recently experienced. Um, I thanked the people around me who support me, who love me. Um, and I just spoke to myself and I said, slow down, just take your time, just take it easy, do what you can in the time that you have, and um, do the most that you can. And uh, you know, it actually worked. It, I feel a lot calmer today. I feel a lot more, um, I'd say gentle, <laughs> gentle monster, uh, sponsor me. Um, and I just feel, all in all, just more relaxed, excited to start my day. You know, these past couple of months, I've just been feeling like my full-time job has been taking up a lot of my time, a lot of uh, time that I could spend doing other things. And the truth is, I have more time before and after work to accomplish these things. And I've just kind of been blaming my full-time job um, as taking it all up when in fact I get off work and I don't do anything, right? I watch videos and I play games and I do other things instead of work on the things that I want to. And my excuse is that I'm tired after work. Well, I think I just need to fight past that tiredness not push myself past my limit, but to allow the tiredness to be, but also continue to work on what I want to work on. And I think at the end of the day, I'll feel more accomplished knowing that I actually worked on the things that I wanted to, as opposed to trying to relax and do other things to uh, push my mind or distract myself uh, from the from the goals I want to achieve. I had to make some dinner for myself after work, so I ended up air frying some chicken thighs and served it with a salad. Easy peasy. 
Friday, March 8th, 2024, we go out to eat and decided to try some Mediterranean food at Wahib's, same place where we got coffee with my girlfriend before. The place was pretty delicious and the portions were huge for the price. My girlfriend loves raccoons and so my coworker showed me some footage of when he actually saw some in person. Pretty crazy. Later that night, I went to see Chase and Status myself and even though it took all night for them to play, it was worth it when they finally went on. Hello and good afternoon. It is March 9th, 2024. At Sa it's it's Saturday. It's Saturday, March 9th, 2024. I'm running on five hours of sleep because I was at Chase and Status until about one o'clock last night. And I'm exhausted. I'm totally just beat. But I'm not dead. I, I will say that. I will, I'm not dead. Most times when I'm like exhausted to the brim I'm like dead but I got like five hours of sleep and that wasn't too bad I had to stand through like three hours of openers um, which the first act was okay she was just playing like random songs I don't even know what her real her theme was night punk was also opening for chase and status and that was pretty cool um, but like I don't know it just wasn't loud enough and then like the last opener was like uh, Chauncey Jones and Nocturnal Sunshine or something like that. And they're playing more like drum and bass, grime, that kind of stuff. And it was cool, but um, the real show did not start until Chase and Status went on. The entire floor erupted in energy and it was just completely insane. I myself just woke woke up just from standing so still and I was going crazy. Um, super fun night. The music definitely sounds better when it's in person. Because I was listening to Jason's Status like just before going to the show all day. And it was like whatever, right? But like I went to the show and it was just bonkers. Anyways, I did that last night and I'm pretty tired. But we made it to work. We are okay. We're energized. Work is chill as usual on the weekends. Um, today I have uh, some of the chicken that I've been making. Um, my parents are out of town, so I have to cook for myself and I just been making this chicken. Easy, just eat it with some rice and call it a day. Saturday, March 9th, 2024. Dinner was on me again tonight. So I went to Trader Joe's and picked up this truffle pizza, which I enjoyed with some air fried chicken and a side salad. I went to open my window for the first time in a while and I just heard some strange sounds. And like, I started following the sounds and look what I found. There's a chicken here. That's my window. There's a chicken right outside of my window. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Oh my God, I have a chicken. Later that night, my parents and sister were coming back from a trip and I decided to meet them up for some good old tofu house. Although I wanted kalbi tang instead. 5.30 a.m. I just pulled up to the gym and they have a power outage. Tell me I can't work out because you guys don't have power. That's okay. I guess I'm going to go home and just work on the vlogs before work. Good morning, today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024. I am on my way to work. Woke up at five this morning. I don't know why it took me so long to do this, but I have a schedule that I can put on my lamp and I can literally just put, turn like I can turn on my lamp at 5 a.m. and 
and then I'll have light in my room when uh, my alarm goes off. And I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? I had done it before. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but doing that actually helped me get up a lot easier because, you know, lights in your face, it's not completely dark, you're not like kind of drained by the sleepiness of it all. So um, tonight or today was the first day that like my lamp turned on at five and I was like, oh, okay, it's time to get ready. It's time to get up and do whatever I need to do. So that worked out a lot better. So uh, if you have a smart plug or smart uh, the, 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 the electric outlet thingy, then uh, yeah, go ahead and set your lamp, set your set your LED bulb or whatever to like whatever time you want to get up, so that some light shines in your face and distracts you from that peaceful sleep. Later that night, I had a delicious homemade steak for dinner with egg over rice. I don't know about you guys, but I just cannot eat a steak without having a side of eggs. It's like an essential for any Asian eating steak to have it with eggs and rice. Or maybe it's just me. Good morning and happy Friday. It is March 15th, 2024. And God damn it, I parked under a tree and bird shit all over my car. Ah, oh, that's okay though. It is what it is. I shouldn't have parked in their territory. Uh, but I just finished with my gym session, worked on triceps today. Damn, there's a lot of birds out here. Jesus, I don't know if you can hear them from the mic, but they are caulking all over the sky. Um, yeah, I went to the gym, did triceps, went to the infrared sauna afterwards, felt good, felt relaxed. I think I actually took like a good 15 minute nap because I feel revitalized and just like, I didn't like, completely fall asleep but I felt like I was kind of drifting a little bit um, and yeah I feel pretty relaxed this morning um, it is a little gloomy out today and yesterday was extremely windy so I'm hoping we get some rain because now I got bird poop all over my car uh, nonetheless today is looking to be like a good day it is Friday we are going to go out to eat today gonna try out this new place that is like a Japanese Hawaiian cuisine looking forward to that we had Bachan's takeout located in Monterey Park California I ordered the seared ahi tuna and it definitely hit the spot especially after my Hawaii trip the Japanese Hawaiian fusion had an amazing selection of delicacies also got the triple sauced fries which was teriyaki gravy and chili over fries a perfect place if you want to get some comfort food I can't believe I actually did it. I got an iPhone. The process of getting my Z Flip repaired was just too tedious and long to deal with. I had been thinking about getting an iPhone for a while, but I was just too used to the ease of Android. I didn't want to deal with getting used to iOS again. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max in blue titanium, and I gotta say, it's a pretty nice looking phone. I do really hate using the OS though, but I'm not gonna complain about it here. I spent most of the day getting my carrier set up and custom customizing it all to my liking. At the end of the day, not too bad. Plus it plays games very fast. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll at you later.